Yo, what is everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool infinite mask zoom effect in Final Cut Pro 10. As you can see right here, this is what the effect looks like right here. It's basically this really cool mask zoom effect um, right here. So let's go ahead and kind of go frame by frame, and I'll actually open, open up the compound clip in a little bit. Now in this video, this is going to be more of a breakdown and not like a step-by-step -step tutorial. So as you can see right here, let's go frame by frame. You can see it starts zooming in, and then you have a cutout of, of Derrick Henry's eyes, and then you have a cutout of uh, Devontae Adams' helmet. It zooms in to show the uh, jersey of Matt Ryan, where Russell Wilson is inside his um, jersey, or the number two in his jersey, and then it zooms into Russell Wilson. Now this is also like a frozen frame. I'm not going to use it as a frozen frame anyways, but and there you go, and then it fades to black right there. So let's open up the compound clip right here, and again, I'm going to do much more of a kind of a frame by frame or kind of breakdown of this effect right here. So what you have in this first of uh, clip right here is you have a draw mask. So I just cut out um, uh, DeAndre Hopkins' um, eye right there. I inverted the mask and then I increased the feather to about 22% right here. So what I did next was then I just started going frame by frame. So I'll go this, so I'll go frame by frame. Uh, well, actually, no matter, I, what, I, what I did here, um, you want to go to the beginning right here and you want to keyframe the position right here and you're going to keyframe the scale right here. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go to all, where all these blue marks are, that's where the keyframe ends. So then you want to go to this blue one right here and then as you can see right here, I input the position um, for the X and Y and then I input the scale keyframe right here. So you want to start the beginning of the clip and then you go to the this blue marker right here. So I'll kind of go frame by frame right here. So let's go, you can see right here, it starts zooming into DeAndre Hopkins' eye. Ignore the uh, bottom clip below it. And then DeAndre Hopkins' eye keeps zooming in, keeps zooming in. And then the clip of DeAndre Hopkins, that clip is over. Now what I did with these red marks are, this is where I started the second clip. So let's go to this frame right, so let's go to Derrick Henry right here. So I'll kind of go frame by frame right here. Derrick Henry's not moving at all. I waited until eight frames right here. And then I had Derrick Henry start moving. So what I did was I started I started right here, or went back one frame right here. So I started right here, and then I key from the position and the scale of Derrick Henry. I went to the end of the clip right here, and then I input the numbers for the position and the scale right here. So let's go over, and then I also uh, forgot to mention um, I put a, or go back here, I just use a draw mask to cut out Derrick Henry's eye, invert the mask, and then change the feather right here. So let's go frame by frame, focusing on Derrick Henry right now. As you can see, we're going to go frame by frame, nothing moves right here, but then as you can see right here, now Derrick Henry is keyframed right here, he keeps zooming into his eye, keeps zooming into his eye, and then you go all the way to this blue mark right here. Okay, so now let's focus on Devontae Adams right here. So what I did right here was I started the keyframe right here. I keyframed the position and keyframe the scale. Then I went to the end right here and I input the position, uh, the keyframe position and the keyframe for the scale of the Devontae Adams clips. Now if you're wondering how I knew all these numbers, I actually individually just zoomed in the clips in a different project to make sure I had the exact numbers. So that's what, that, uh, that's what I would do, is I would find the exact scale number and the position number. That way you're not like adjusting it on the actual um, project. Go ahead and kind of open up own, your own project, a separate project, and just kind of figure out the scale dimensions. Okay, so let's focus on um, Devontae Adams' helmet. Okay, so you have his eyes zooming in, um, DeAndre Hopkins, and then now Derrick Henry's eye is starting to zoom in right here, but nothing is happening to Devontae Adams' helmet, and now, as you can see right here, now Devontae, what were, this, what were the um, red markers right here? Now Devontae Adams' helmet is starting to zoom in right here, and then it ends right where this blue marker is right here. So let's focus on Matt Ryan. Well, I, 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 don't, I don't know if I mentioned it um, before. As you can see right here, here's a draw mask around uh, the Green Bay logo on his helmet. Inverted the mask and increased the feathering to a little bit, uh, at about 10. Okay, so let's focus on Matt Ryan right here. Matt Ryan's number right here. So we're going to start right here. As you can see right here, 
I started right in this red marker, keyframe the position and keyframe the scale right here, and then went to the end right here and adjusted the position and adjusted the scale um, right there. So let's kind of go frame by frame right here and kind of go over this um, uh, this effect right here. So we're gonna go frame by frame right here. As you can see, you have DeAndre Hopkins' eye right here. It starts to zoom in right here, and then you'll wait a little bit. Okay, I'll go to the beginning again. So you have DeAndre Hopkins' eye. DeAndre Hopkins' eye starts to zoom in right here, and then Derrick Henry's eye starts to zoom in, and then in a little bit, Devontae Adams' start, helmet starts to zoom in right here, and then in a little bit, you have a mask around Matt Ryan's number. It zooms in right there. And there we go, and you wait till it fills up the entire screen right there. And there you go, that's pretty much how you create this effect right here. You just make sure all these clips have a draw mask, they're all cut out somewhere, and then all you're doing is literally just keyframing the scale and position. And of course, you can make these clips longer or shorter if you want the effect to go a lot faster. Also, what you could do is you could go um, right click on it, show video animations, and you can actually mess with the keyframe. Um, right here, so the keyframe here came from right here. If you want to mess with the keyframe, um, that's one option right here. But that's literally how you create the effect right here. And then, of course, you can put all these clips in a compound clip right here. And then add a little bit of motion blur just to help sell the effect and make it look a lot better. But that's pretty much how you create this really cool effect in Final Cut Pro 10. This really cool infinite zoom mask right here. And of course, you're obviously going to want a clip that doesn't have a draw mask, which is just a clip of Russell Wilson, which is, which is what the entire effect is zooming into right here. And there you go. You have pretty much created this really, really cool um, infinite mask zoom effect. So again, all you're doing is you're creating a draw draw mask around something the person either the eyes a helmet or something and you're literally just keyframing the, the position scale and you adjust the keyframe and so on and so forth until you get your desired look um, this is just an example you don't have to make it as fast as I did you can make it a lot slower but of course that's all up to you anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you knew this channel I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time so if you enjoy these types of videos consider hitting that subscribe button I also have a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 140 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace.